Hey, Bruce here, the 5-Minute Handyman. I'm going to be mixing up some joint setting compound. And the stuff I'm using is 20-minute quick set. And so what it does is it sets up in 20 minutes. So let me show you how to mix this up because there's a little bit of a technique that you might want to know how to do. And then I'll show you how to apply it to a ceiling. All right. So... Like I said, we have 20 minute quick set. I'm going to use a tray. And the first thing we do is we pour in some of the powder. I don't want to put too much in here uh, because I'm going to need to mix it and I don't want it to spill out. And so what we'll do is we'll take, uh, take a sponge and add the water. Four, um, four inch trowel, or not a trowel, a uh, spackle knife. And what I'm going to do is I will just move this around, get the powder wet, and a little bit more water to it. All right, so it might be a little bit too much, but we'll add a little bit more powder if we need to. And so what we'll do is just kind of mix this around. Get everything wet, and then we'll, uh, I'll show you the mixing technique. Add a little bit more powder to it. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright, so I want to get this so that I don't have <clears throat> a lot of liquid or a lot of powder. Okay, and so I'll wipe it off on the sides here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around. And when I come around, I'm going to squeeze it to the side. And what that's going to do is it's going to break up any lumps that I have. For a little bit, get things mixed up nice. I want to have this kind of, kind of loose. I don't want it too, too thick. The loose, if it's nice and loose, then it's easy to work with. Okay. To this. It looks good. Just a little bit. Just to thicken it up just a teeny bit. consistency. All right, so what I'm going to do now is bring this over and I'll show you how to apply it on the ceiling. Okay, so here's what we've got. We have a ceiling that we're working on. We have to add some joint compound in order to smooth out this section. And what I've already done <coughs> because I've done the section to the left and you can see that there is some, some smooth joint compound here up along the ceiling. So what I need to do is add some over in this area here. And so what I'm going to do with that <clears throat> is I'm going to use my 14 inch blade and I'm going to want it to go like this and spread it out along this rough section here. All right, so I'll take, take some on my spackle knife and I like to knock off the corners so that when I put it on it doesn't drop off the edges. Okay, so I'll do that each time. 
All right. And I'm going to want to take and push this on to spread it out nice and evenly. Work out any bubbles or pockets that there might be in the joint compound. Okay, and notice I'm going in a couple of different directions because I want to work this in very well. I want to make sure I have a wet edge here. And what a wet edge is, is that if I, if I just took the joint compound and put it on and didn't squeegee it tight, it wouldn't be wet. And what, what it does is it allows me to be able to transition very nicely with the edge so I don't have to do a lot of sanding afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to just come and bring this over. Wipe off my knife. Got a clean, clean blade, both sides. Um, I'm going to also look down my knife to see where the bow is, and right on on this side, the bow is on this side, so that it it goes. Well, let's see if I can show you how it goes. It goes kind of like this. All right, so there's a bow on this on this blade. And so I want to have the bow so that it, it goes like this. So I get a, so when I push it up, it becomes straight. And it makes it a nice straight edge for my spackle or my joint compound. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and keep working this in. I get it worked in pretty nicely. Put a little bit on the edge here. And then we'll come and we'll go back over it a couple of times. Wipe it off. And then, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, now I have this bowing this way, okay, and I'm going to take it, I'm going to push this side up, and I'm going to kind of twist it so that the edge of the blade here is not going to touch too much of the spackle, and I'm going to clean, clean my edge right here, okay, and so... Alright, so this is looking pretty nice. And I'm going to need to come back over here with a final coat because I, I filled in quite a bit. And even though this is uh, the um, setting type um, joint compound, it is going to shrink a little bit. So what I'm going to want to do is let this set and let it dry. And once it dries, it's going to change in color from a darker color to a lighter color and then I'll be able to come through with a light sanding and then I'll take some um, other joint compound and go over everything to make sure it's nice and smooth especially along the edge here. So that's the process that we use and um, again I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel so when I show you different techniques about home improvement you'll be able to see how those things are done. So thank you for watching and uh, this is Bruce with the 5 Minute Handyman.